Hello, Cathy. Hello, Dave. This is... <laughs> I'm trying a new intro. <laughs> Do you like that? I love it. Yeah. Um, it's not really working out very well. I didn't think this through. Okay, so this is the Cinemile. Hello. Um... I'm Dave, this is my wife, Cathy. Hello. I've just done the same intro <laughs> that I normally do. Uh, so we are going to see Edgar Wright's new movie, uh, Baby Driver. I'm very excited about this. We are uh, already 15 minutes past the starting time, so we're playing with fire already, because usually it's the 25, sort of 30 minute mark that the movie actually starts, but Cathy has insisted on going to Waitrose to get some sweets so you've thrown a real spanner in the world <laughs> well I'm being conscientious because it's so expensive to buy sweets in the cinema that's not being conscientious is it that's being financially financially astute astute yes. being conscientious means like if you were to like take the savings and donate it to charity are you going to do that yes <laughs> <laughs> good okay then we're all agreed I hadn't thought of that You're but so that is what I'll do um, what sort of sweets are you getting and also can we hurry up we can. We don't need to discuss the sweets because it would be something uninteresting. We can go back to the movie. Oh, you want to talk about the movie podcast? we're going to see? Yeah. Oh, all right, okay. Um, so I'm very excited for this. I've only seen one trailer for it. I haven't really looked up much else because I'm just excited. I love Edgar Wright. Um, I love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked. I don't even care if the plot is like humdrum, boring, just as long as there's some really cool car chases and interesting and unique sort of camera angles and visuals that's what I'm looking for here because he's a really interesting director he's got a cool eye did he do like Shaun of the Dead in those movies yeah is that him yeah the Cornetto trilogy is there um, so I'm not like particularly into those movies you love them I know and I didn't see Scott Pilgrim but I wasn't bothered seeing it so. I don't think you'd like it yeah so I'm, I'm interested to see this and I thought the trailer looked good I had so what other right films have you seen just Hot Fuzz Hot Fuzz and um, oh, you the saw end of the end, world. Uh, World's End, yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think that I thought the trailer looked really good actually, and then it was interesting because I had assumed that it was based in a comic book or something. I just naturally assumed that because that's what all these movies are. Well, that's what every movie is. Yeah, now. so it's no, interesting it's a, that it's actually <coughs> original. Which is it's cool. an entirely original script by Edgar Wright. Apparently, he wrote it um, ten years ago and just uh, brushed it off a few years ago. And people Somebody are saying that like the today. title's going to sink it because the title makes... Sorry, I'm looking for the sweets here as I'm talking. The title makes it seem like it's about a baby. Like it's a, you know... <laughs> it's a terrible so title. Somebody in work said to me, oh, you should do this in your strand of baby movies. And I was like, it's not a baby It's movie. not about a baby. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's it's unfortunate because this is definitely... This, this is, is the, not the This is the house, housing cleaning <laughs> products and dishwasher. Yeah. But, have you ever been to a supermarket before? I have. I don't normally come in and buy sweets, though. This is, and it's very distracting yeah. trying to... It is very distracting. The sweets so anyway, are usually up by the okay, counter. So basically, yeah. Dave's super excited for this movie, and I'm like, don't mind it. Not particularly bothered. Oh, but sorry, quickly back to the title. It, it's To be fair, it seems to be completely within the context of the movie. The character's name is Baby, and he's a driver. So ah, you know, okay, because I was going to say, he's not that young. Fine marks on that, but they've completely disregarded the sort of casual mass market who are going to see a movie called Baby Driver and think well what the fuck is that That's, yeah. maybe it's a family and he, movie what do you think about that actor his name escapes me but he's in Ansel um, Elgort The Fault in Our Stars I practiced it on the train and, over Ansel Elgort he's in The Fault in Our Stars and Divergent so I mean he's got quite a big following of young people I imagine yeah do you know I've only yeah, I've only ever seen him in uh, the Divergent film which I mean, well, he was only in that for five minutes did you not see The Fault in Our Stars no he's good in that um, I cried a lot at that movie but he just, actually, I read on the way over, he just landed the role of um, young JFK. Oh, wow. In a movie, not about politics. It sounds kind of cool, actually. It's uh, it's about JFK in World War Two, And he saved, um, he was on a submarine and saved, or a boat. And he saved 10 of the 12 crew when the ship got uh, cut in half wow. by Japanese. Is it true? Uh, that, uh, that incident is true, yeah. Okay, interesting. Right, so I'm getting yeah. peanut Reese's and fruit pastilles, if anyone's interested. We are not sponsored <laughs> no, by either sponsored. of those <laughs> But I companies. am eight months pregnant, so I can eat whatever I want. That's how uh, it works. Yeah, now uh, let's hurry and get out of yes. here and go okay. watch this movie. Bye. See you on the other side. There he is. Hey, hey baby. baby. Why is he listening to music all the time? He had an accident when he was a kid. He still got a hum in the drum. Plays music to drown it out. That's what makes him the best. Aren't you mysterious? Maybe. 
In this business, there's a world consistent of three things. Money, sex, and action. One of these days, you're gonna get blood on your hands. Wait, wait, I gotta start the song over. Okay, go. Baby, you tell me who dies. No, I'm driving. Right, so we are just out of a baby driver. Um, firstly, I think we let's talk about the uh, the quick incident that happened in the middle of the movie. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. So, um, about halfway through the film, this isn't a, a spoiler alert, but there's a. Uh, How long ago did you? Oh, it doesn't even matter what scene it was, but it was uh, characters having a conversation, a lot of swearing, um, and right in the smack in the middle of this, this family with about four kids uh, walked into the cinema <laughs> with all their popcorn <laughs> like over halfway through the movie <laughs> ready to go and everyone kind of looked at it like where are they going um, but didn't look at what was on the screen marched right to the back uh, obviously weren't listening to what was happening because it was foul and uh, took their seats and then we were thinking like what happened are they just coming like they clearly were in the wrong I thought movie. they were scamming for free tickets and then another movie had finished Oh, yeah, yeah, a family wouldn't do that. I though. don't know. I was like, what else would you be doing? Like, they were clearly supposed to be going to Despicable Me or something. Um, but yeah, about 30 seconds passed and they sort of essentially rushed out of the cinema <laughs> with their children. They basically ran out. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite funny. But uh, what, did you, yeah, what did you think of the movie? So I really liked the first act. Like, I thought the first third of the movie was really fun and I really enjoyed the setup. I think the casting was excellent. I think he's really fantastic, the main guy. Um, all the supporting actors were great the soundtrack was great and then I just got a little bit bored of it um, and ultimately I thought oh what's the point of this movie like you know what I mean I don't know I wasn't like fun enough for me didn't really have any message I don't know I just didn't really get it like I don't I can see it's so stylishly directed like it has an amazing soundtrack all the things I expected it to have Yeah. and I think he's very fantastic his name I've forgotten. And uh, Ensel Al. Like he's Anugort. amazing. Like Engel, he's so. Uh, Engel Hals. Or, uh, he's like a great it. actor, a great dancer. He's very athletic. Like he could be an action star. He could be a music. He could be in a musical. He could be. I thought he was really fantastic. I thought she was great. Lily James as the love interest. Who's I thought, Lily James? She's the love interest. No, no. Who is she? I didn't recognize her. She's in that Cinderella live action movie. She's in Downton Abbey. Oh sort of right, stuff. okay, yeah. I think she's British. Um, Obviously, Jamie Foxx. They were great together. They had good chemistry. They had really as well. good chemistry. I thought their chemistry leapt off the screen. Like, Jamie Foxx and John Hammer, obviously amazing. You know what I mean? Like, it's all fine. Yeah. Kevin Spacey, I cannot take seriously. Because of I just expected him to be like, I'm Francis Underwood. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, yeah. Well, I just can't take Kevin Spacey seriously. We should talk anymore. about House of Cards another time yeah. because I've checked out of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think, it's very loud here. But and yeah, I, I think, think his performance has been a parody of that in that whole show. It's and that's what this. I just felt like Kevin Spacey added nothing to this movie, but uh, maybe I'm just biased because I'm sick of House of Cards. But yeah, so overall, like I would say it's really stylish and well directed, and I loved the setup, and then the let's, plot do wanna, let's got do, really dull for let's me. Let's do a very quick synopsis. Um, no spoilers again because we're not in spoiler street yet. Um, essentially, it, yeah, it's just a, it's it's just a heist movie or a series of heists. He's a, his name's Baby. He's a driver. <laughs> he drives for uh, Kevin Spacey and it a series didn't make of crews. Sense that his name was Baby to me at all, other than it being a gimmick for the title of the movie. Well, they all had um, they all had nicknames, yeah. right? That's a it's a criminal thing. There's even a whole scene about it. I know. I just thought it was, I don't know, it was a bit try hard. But again, the title just didn't work uh, sorry Edgar Wright I think it was a big mistake there's a song at the end called Baby Driver I don't know who it was by but it feels like that was it was all just tied in so neatly it was almost like I'd imagine why does everyone in Saints play song, really loud music out of their car <laughs> it's great ambience for us <laughs> it is yeah um, but yeah I like I really liked it I thought it was I thought it was great I, I kind of um, picking up on what you said I had similar feelings uh, it it kind of dragged for me in the middle towards the end. Um, like it's getting an unnecessary amount of five star reviews. I think. I, I haven't looked at the reviews. Yeah, I don't think it's a five star movie. I think it's a really strong four star movie, but yeah. I think people are being a bit exuberant about it. Partially, probably because it's I original. Try, I try not to rate things by stars. Yeah, but it just. I was expect. I, I think people are excited because it's original and it's stylish and all that, and that is true. It didn't quite 
keep my yeah keep my enthrallment for the entire thing it felt slightly baggy um yeah i think they could have cut, i know we always say this but they really could have cut a bit of time out of it but overall and then we'd have made her at the earlier train <laughs> that yeah. would have been very yeah, helpful. Yeah, Edgar Wright. Could you could you, do you mind like um, working your creativity around our schedule? Yeah, because we more? just missed the train. Yeah, but now we've plenty of time to walk around and talk about this movie. Yeah, um, but I will. Let's talk about what I did like because there's a lot of it. Like Edgar Wright is such a stylish director. You mentioned the soundtrack; it was just uh, incredible. Like a lot of classic 70s and 80s numbers uh, Queen made a return um, you haven't seen Shaun of the Dead but there's a I know the famous scene, scene. Though, yeah. yeah you know that thing um, there's a what was I going to say oh yeah the, the opening car chase was incredible and you missed the entire thing <laughs> <laughs> because you because again okay uh, follow up on our on our opening yeah we were late and the movie had started when I got in Kathy went to the toilet um, but I don't care if I miss the opening chase scene of an action movie. Yeah, but that's part of the movie, and it mightn't have been an opening chase scene. But it could of have course, been a it was going to be. There was no way been... that anything crucial was going to happen at the opening that I needed to well, see. Well, let me tell you, it was the best scene in the movie. <laughs> it was the best car chase by far. Nothing that that uh, followed it was better than that opening. Yeah, it's scene. interesting because um, I mean, I know you said when I came in, you whispered at me, you missed an amazing car scene. But none of the, none of the rest of his driving was that good. Like, it was good, but I was like, meh, I could do that. Most of the good stuff from the trailer was in that first scene as well. Um, but the there's a great opening sort of introduction post-credits to Baby. Um, and it's him just getting coffee and listening to I music. I love that, yeah. It was so well done. He, as you said, he's a really good physical actor. He's really he's a great physical, dancer. isn't he? But did you know, I, I think I turned to you, but notice all the little clever touches that Edgar Wright had done. The lyrics to the song were showing up in the graffiti in the wall yeah but wall. that annoyed me that was so try hard to think? me yeah I thought that was but it was it was showing up uh, also like on newspapers it was showing up oh, visually subtle visual clues I think clues. this is That's where we, cool. we slightly differ in, in um, what we appreciate because to, to, to you that was really cool and to me it was really try hard and annoying okay yeah but like no, but I get, I get that. Like, I can see that's why that's a stamp it's cool. of creativity. It was al- that was almost like a really cool music video in itself. It was cool. Like, I think he could be a pop star. That guy. I know I haven't heard him sing, but I just think he's awesome. I feel like I've seen him in another movie playing a musician, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. Um, I was thinking, him. looking at him, uh, and with his, with it, the the sort of tracksuit top he has on for a lot of the movie, it kind of looks like Han Solo's. Uh, waist jacket from the from the first Star Wars and he was also in the lining he was in one of the lineup to play the young he would have been solo. a good young Han Solo he would, he's almost too young for the part uh, when you see, see the I guy I don't think they, he's that young I reckon he's in his 20s he just has a real baby face he's got a baby face yeah, yeah. Um, but I think he would have been a good Han Solo actually he's quite charismatic um, but we've gone way off tangent the um, the there was a oh, I'll save this for spoilers actually um, yeah should we go to Spoiler Street Overall, yeah, I've got a I few bits to say in spoilers. It is, um, like, it's definitely a cool movie. It's really good, yeah, it's I really cool. It. Um, it's it just, was I don't think people should be expecting a five star movie. I wouldn't be buying those results, uh, those reviews. And okay. I think, I also think I would have well, been more like, impressed by it when I was younger. Like, a lot of the action and stuff, I would have thought it was really cool yeah, when I was younger. teenage me would have loved it. Yeah, but I was thinking now, eh, it's a little bit style over substance. But I thought that there's, there's a, not a, a lot of nice uh, little character touches to this. He's got a um, a foster dad who's um, who's deaf, and there's a lot of sign language moments. Which I liked the interaction with them. Yeah, I liked him. That. I liked the interactions with Baby and the love interest. Um, a lot of the other characters, the criminals, just kind of felt like uh, cookie cutter. Yeah, they were sort hollow. of. Uh, yeah, there was nothing to them, and some of the dialogue felt a bit like uh, f- try yeah try hard, like you said, um, just like very stereotypical sort of. Uh, trying hard to have distinctive uh, criminals with one distinctive feature. But Do you know like, what it reminded me of? What? Um, you know that Nicolas Cage movie where his daughter and him are superheroes? Kick ass. Kick ass, yeah. It had that kind of vibe to me. Okay. Of yeah. like- Finding high quality mental health care can be daunting and exhausting. That's why Cerebral offers convenient access to online mental health services, including therapy and medication management. Cerebral's diverse clinician team can help with anxiety, depression, insomnia, stress, grief, 
big life changes, and more. You can schedule and communicate with your care team through Cerebral's mobile app and attend your sessions from the comfort of your own home. Get started with or without insurance. Plus, you can now use FSA or HSA. Start your first month for 50% off at Cerebral.com slash ACAST. You know, funny dialogue, a little bit try hard, a young action star, and... Like it was fun, and I like I really enjoyed Kickass at the time as well. The weird comparison, I don't really get. Really, I just feel like it's a bit like that movie in in, yeah. in tone, which I also enjoyed. But yeah, so let's go on to spoilers. I recommend it though. I think it's and I think it's a good one in the cinema, particularly the use of sound. Yeah, the music's really good. Uh, like he, the visuals were amazing, and the car chases were great. Um, and there's an amazing foot chase in this as well. Um, but the there's there's a lot of moments of characters passing earphones to each other and the whole like one half of the cinema will the sound system will drop out when the left headphone comes in and it'll come oh, back in that. when it goes into another person's ear and then if two headphones come out the whole sound drops the music dropped right out did you know I think any it was a little bit inconsistent though because most of the time it was like diegetic music so you heard it yeah as part of what was being played for the characters but then sometimes it slipped into music that only we were hearing and I thought that was a little bit inconsistent. No, I think any time I think any time we heard music, it was a track that Baby was listening to. But they would turn it up for our sake, maybe. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Like it's. But the other amazing thing, which I loved, was any time there was a shootout scene, the bullets were matching the percussion of the track. Did you notice that? No, I didn't notice that. It was so cool. Um, they were completely like matching like the staccato of the track. And it was like there was even like a any time there was like a, a a drum solo or anything, there would be like a round of Uzis firing. It yeah, was, it was cool. Like so, I mean, I was so like, cool. it's a very stylish film. It is a little bit. Well, that's probably a criticism of, of Edgar Wright in general. He's very much st- he's all about style and has always been. Yeah. But that's what I that was what I was expecting going into this. Yeah, I think me he, too. I think he massively delivered. Anyway, Spoiler Street. Uh, yeah, Spoiler Street. So spoilers for Baby Driver, starting from. Now, first thing I want to say is uh, John Bernthal, who people will know from The Walking Dead and he was in Series 2 of Daredevil as the Punisher. Great actor. Like, he was building this. I think he's on the poster. And he was in it for... A scene? One scene? Yeah. Yeah, like, and... and I another... forgot, I'd forgotten he was in it until you just said that. Yeah. Mm. I, t- I was expecting him to come back at some point because he's a relatively big actor at this point. Um... But there's too many characters, though. I mean, like, you know, there was a lot of characters and they were very macho and I just didn't find them particularly interesting. Like, I think John Hamm and Jamie Foxx are obviously really great actors and John Hamm in particular was good in this. But they could have been from any movie, could have been any... Like, it was just... There was nothing interesting about their characters whatsoever. There was nothing interesting about Kevin Spacey. The only interesting characters were Baby Driver, his foster dad and the girlfriend. They were the only human characters. Yeah. The rest of them were just cliches really yeah um, Yeah, there wasn't a lot to any of them Jamie Foxx didn't quite work for me as, a, as the no. villain I like Jamie Foxx in general but I mean he was really obnoxious which he pulled off yeah he was just a, but he was just annoying he wasn't he wasn't really threatening and he wasn't um, he wasn't scary so he was just like frustrating he was like ugh I was really glad when he died and then John I <laughs> Why did John Hamm's girlfriend his have to be 30 years younger than him? That just annoyed me. Like, that was completely because, inexplicable. Because Hollywood gender politics are, have not progressed at all. Yeah, but why would Edgar Wright... Like, he's a smart man. Why is he Why is he casting a movie where there's only two female characters, both of whom are really young, really skinny, you know, really fitting this mould? And, like, no offence to either of those actresses. They're really good. But, like, why? Why did John Hamm, who's, like, in his 50s, have to have a wife who was, like no older than like 28 and with no explanation for it just felt really disingenuous to me I don't know I just thought like I just wasn't into them at all as a couple I thought they were ridiculous Um, well look if if this wasn't you could make the argument that he just wrote a character who was an older man with a with a younger woman, which is a thing that can that's happen. Not, as that's not that's well. not what the character was though. That wasn't what it was about. I'm I'm just saying that that you could make that argument, but the, the, that argument doesn't really stand up because of the the overwhelming 
um, amount of movies that have that exact situation. Yeah, and it wasn't it's even no longer, commented on. It's a trend. It's a, and it's not even a trend. It's, it's just it's a fact of what a, they do. It's become a fact yeah. for decades, and you rarely see it reversed. Um, and I really I think, enjoyed the scenes with Baby and his girlfriend getting to know each other. Like, for me, the core, the, the most interesting part of that movie to me was their relationship. But ultimately, I was really dissatisfied because he ends up in prison, right? Sentenced for, like, at least five years. Um, yeah. Assuming he gets out on parole for good behaviour. Now, I'm really sad to think that, that character is going to wait five years for that guy. Someone she went on, what, three dates with? Yeah, and who put her life in danger and who's gone to prison and who was involved in a lot of lot of deaths of casual bystanders would you not have waited for me for five years if we'd been if on we'd three gone dates. for three days <laughs> but think of the first three dates we ever went on do you remember how amazing they were can you name them yes um, they were incredible but I just think and, like I just thought at if, the end was that a dream sequence are they actually together I just I don't know I just don't know what the point of the end of it was like he's gone to prison and then we're kind of like, oh, she's waiting for him. But I'm like, that's really tragic because she's no more than 20 and she's going to wait five years for this guy. Because yeah, they were in love and they had a romantic... Look, I don't know. Look, It's just like, that was just a neat little ending. It didn't really... Yeah, but it's just lame. Like, And it just reeks yeah. of a really male-orientated filmmaker. I'll agree. The whole, end, the whole end didn't work No, for me. it didn't make any sense. Like, why didn't he get away? Why did he go to prison? Like, what's the message of the movie? Because... There is no message. There's no point to the There's movie. There's no message to the movie. It's just like, here's a fun character and uh, here's him trying to win the day. It should have ended I with thought... him either turning your man in or or just escaping. Like I just thought there was no satisfaction in him going to prison for five years. Were you kind of expecting um, that, that Baby was going to have some sort of plan to sort of uh, double cross them? Yeah, that's what I was expecting. That's what I was gearing up for. turns out he didn't have any plan, which I thought was kind of good, actually. He, he was just like just saw an opportunity to kill Jamie Foxx and he did and that was quite unexpected that and was shocking. good but Except he didn't even like um, con- like Ke- Kevin Spacey said oh I want you to keep working for me and he's just like okay he didn't even try uh, come and on, say yeah, no but, no but Kevin Spacey threatened him essentially he said you know what happens if you say no you're um, yeah but he didn't even try and have a conversation with him he just went okay yeah but you can't <laughs> You can't, he, you can't really get out of that situation by having a conversation. I guess, I don't know. I just think like, the, there's a lot the, of plot holes in the it. The problem with Jamie Foxx dying was he, they'd been building him up as a villain and then it was just, whoo, it was over quick. And then they kind of made John Hamm step in as the villain and didn't quite have the same impact. The only twist really towards the end was that Kevin Spacey helped him. Wasn't yeah. expecting that. Yeah. I, I thought it was really funny when Kevin Spacey said at the end, "Stop quoting Monsters Inc. to me." That really <laughs> yeah, that pisses me off. That was a genuinely <laughs> probably the only real the only laugh, laugh I had in the moment. movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. There were there were a few sort of chuckles in it, but it wasn't like uh, it wasn't positioned as a comedy. I don't What's think. it positioned as? It's an action movie. It's a it's a fun, quirky, stylish action movie. It's the kind of movie. We were getting a lot of in like the late nineties, early noughties. Yeah, it had a bit of a Quentin Tarantino. Those, yeah, exactly yeah, those sort of well. stylish crime capers. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something else. Um, oh, that that whole sort of um, parkour foot chase in the that middle. That was amazing in the shopping mall. It was also like great, un- very unexpected. Just when we thought we were going to get another car chase, it was like no, he just he's even better on foot. He, was like, I was watching him so like cool. he could be it action star of any movie he's so athletic I really hope this puts him young, on the map well he's a already been in big movies though it's just that they're teen movies so you yeah, but he's he, not on your radar he feels like, yeah, but what I mean is he feels like he could be a, a, the next A-lister in the movie oh he's huge yeah, Like yeah. I was watching him and I was la- watching him run so realistically and like of course he would outrun anyone he's so young and wiry and you think well like in movies when like someone like Tom Cruise runs which I do love and always laugh at but he, he would never be outrunning people whereas this guy you're like yeah I believe it he's so young and yeah, energetic and fit. physical yeah fit in the Irish sense of the word not the English sense of the word <laughs> no not the Love Island sense <laughs> of the word yeah. very um, fit but yeah I just really believed him I just completely bought him in the role and it's a pretty ridiculous role so I mean fair play to him but he's also pulled off you know a really different role in that movie I mentioned earlier um, there was a lovely- where he had cancer Fault in Our Stars oh, he's yeah, yeah. really good in that movie there's a whole section in this uh, early on where he sort of leaves the, the crime and goes starts dating with her. That could have been straight out of a young adult movie. Their whole sort I was of into meet that. cute thing. And then they went, and I really enjoyed their scene in the laundromat. And 
I enjoyed all of that and then it went back to the car scenes again and that's when I was like okay waiting for some higher plot where he's trying to set Kevin Spacey up or anything and it was just that was when it all lagged for me because it's just like all oh, right so you're just doing okay this doomed mission but what like what's the point like I didn't understand what I was watching I was like what is the point of this and also Kevin Spacey said I never work with the same crew twice and then you're the only one I've ever worked with again and then the next scene John Hammond and Jamie Foxx were there I think he meant by crew he meant like mixture of crew okay so we'll alternate the people except for baby but al- always keeping the crazy guy who will murder somebody at the end of a job for no reason uh, yeah he murdered him because he left his shotgun behind there, oh sorry there was another funny gag the Mike Myers thing he said get Mike Ma- oh yeah that was funny get Mike Myers masks and he got uh, Austin Powers masks yeah that was funny um, what about the the music I liked the uh, I liked the whole thing with his mom and hearing the tape at the end. Oh, that was lovely. And then lovely. he put his hand to the speaker yeah. and that was how he heard See, it. See, I thought that. that it should have ended that way with them on the road. I just didn't get the ending then when they went back to prison. Yeah, it didn't need the uh, sort of extra Return of the King epilogue, did it? It was weird. It was like, oh great, so we're just watching him mopping the floor now in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and he deserved yeah. to go to prison. Like, that's fine Every too. movie should have a good mopping then, scene at the end. Like, he deserved to go to prison, but then they tried to have their cake and eat it too because it's like, oh, he's gone to prison. But everyone's testifying to what an amazing character he has. So they're like, yeah, okay. Give a lady back her purse. You know, he still literally was instrumental in the deaths of tens of people. And no, I have no doubt that all the crazy driving he was doing was injuring people as well. Calling it Yeah, so I don't know. So you would you would have testified against him? Well, I just, I just don't know what the whole point of it was. I'm not going to say that well, again. Now we call Kathy Cullen to the stand. <laughs> I found him very irresponsible. His yeah. driving was reckless. Um, he could have, you know, run off sooner. He, he didn't have to go along to the job and think he was going to leave at ten at two a.m. and run off with his girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Um, but look, overall, it I sort of definitely liked it. I mean, I think I'm overanalyzing it now, and I definitely did enjoy it. But and I'm a bit tired. But it's certainly not a movie I'd watch again. The baby liked it. Our baby liked Baby Driver. Yeah, it was kicking like mad during the it's music. Going mental. It's because there was such There's a heavy so bass. Yeah. Oh my god, that train announcement's been going on for so long. I'm sorry. It's I hope fine. You can't, can't hear it. it. Okay. No. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have nothing else to say about it's this movie. To you. Are you going to watch it again, do you think? Uh, maybe like 10 years from now on telly. Yeah, it doesn't have to feel to me of a classic like Shaun of the Dead or one of those things. No, I don't think it's going to sort of uh, capture the zeitgeist imagination or anything. I think it's an interesting one. It's a great piece of work, though. I think British people will be like, oh, he's too big for his boots now that he's in Hollywood. And in Hollywood, it's actually too small a movie to be... It's not going to be yeah. a huge blockbuster. So I think it's going to sit um, right in the middle of being a niche breakout hit like Shaun of the Dead and being... But it's not a breakout hit. That's what I mean. Like, it's anyone. not... It's it's just a good... So- it's a great, solid movie. Yeah. That's it's almost like he should be like a music video director or something, not a film director. Yeah, he's all about edits and music yeah. and timing. And I'd be interested us? to see him try and do something else. Is that us there? No. Um, we need to wrap this up <laughs> seriously we'll stop looking at the train okay alright well s- s- sorry <laughs> just just staring at getting the train is more important to me than the podcast <laughs> yeah. um, thanks for listening uh, sorry I'm cranky because I'm tired let us know what, what you thought of Baby Driver if you went to Baby Driver I, I hope you went to Baby Driver because you've just listened to all the spoiler spoilers. section yeah. we've got to start putting our, um, our plugs for ourselves at the end um, of the spoiler section Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Not everyone makes it to the end, do they? <laughs> yeah. But if you made it to the end, thank you. And uh, please follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're <laughs> These trains are making so much noise, we're I can't at believe the it. The Cinemile on Twitter. Yeah, it, it does not come across. Okay. Um, we are on Facebook at the Cinemile. Uh, we have an email address, which is the Cinemile at gmail.com. And um, that's uh, that's it. And you can subscribe to us on iTunes yes. or on the Acast app. Yes, we're on the Acast app and network. Uh, please follow us there and download that. And, uh, yeah. That's everything. <laughs> That's everything. <laughs> oh, one more update. I ended up not really eating any of my sweets because I felt sick. And then I left them behind. Did you open those uh, Reese's Peanuts? No. But then I left them there because I thought I don't need to bring that, <laughs> that home. Then I ended up eating half those pastillas yeah. and I felt sick. Um, so just in case anyone is interested in that, and I apologise for the sheer insane noises that are coming out of this train right now I think it's broken because the announcer's been on a loop since we got to the station yeah anyway bye bye (laughs)
said Michael Myers. This is Mike Myers. It should be the Halloween mask. This is a Halloween mask. No, the killer dude from Halloween. Oh, you mean Jason. No!